Today we're back on our Road to Master series and it's going to be a character that I think is a fan favorite because you guys keep commenting um, on all of my videos saying why haven't you done another Road to Master with Jamie yet. And so today that's what we're going to do. Our Jamie is at 19k points. We got Diamond 1 um, on our placements. Pretty much for the rest of these I'm going to try and knock them out in like two more additional videos each. So our goal today is 22k points and then we'll get the 25k that we need for Master in our third video. The point of all of these videos, as I've always said, is to try and get some level of mastery with the character, not to actually hit that master rank itself. And if you guys have been watching, you know that I've basically been giving some little piece of tech or something that I'm working on at the beginning of the video to show you um, how I'm progressing with the character. Today I'm going to talk kind of about the meta of Jamie's drinks because I think it's evolved quite a bit over the past couple of months. I think when Jamie first came out, you know, people were like, you should just prioritize the drinks, always get to level four. Jamie is broken at level four, you should just get there and then you can steamroll your opponent. But the way that the most successful Jamie players play, like John Takeuchi and uh, JB, I've always heard them say that the first two drinks are the most important and then you can prioritize going for Oki, which is basically your knockdown advantage, going for a mix up like a throw. After the second drink, it's more important to prioritize actually hitting your opponent. Because anytime Jamie gets a combo, he basically has two options, go for a drink or go for your Oki. So you can do a light DP and double dash, um, and he should be plus four, I'm pretty sure. I'm not too good at doing the double digit. Plus three at least. Um, so this gets you a meaty throw, which would be uh, the wake up jab. Or you can go for a stand medium punch. Or alternatively, you can do a heavy DP and go for a drink. And you're pretty safe against pretty much all the casts unless you're playing against like a Kami with level three. So the idea is that the first two times you get a hit, you go into the route that gives you a drink. The next time you get a hit, maybe you can go for the Oki or alternatively, you can also go for the drink. But after this point, you kind of just want to get in on your opponent because you have the tools you need. You got the dive kick, you got the target combo. I think the target combo is the most important thing. And then breakdance also is just a lot more damage. 1870 without breakdance, it's 1544 for his um, BNB that gives you Oki. And I'm going to set uh, him with a light shore Yukin. This is reused five frame wake up DP. And I'll basically show you guys the safe jump. So you do a light DP, get a safe jump like this. Or if you have level two, you can do breakdance. More damage and the same safe jump. So that's what we're going to be working on implementing today into our gameplay. Before we get into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, really does help the channel out a lot. And let's get into these ranked matches. I can only do it after the first one. Thank you. Don't do it. Don't do it.
I should never try that. <laughs> I was trying to do the combo. Uh oh. The command guy kills me. Anti-air. That's Cammy. Take jump. I lied, I lied, I lied. I guess if it's an anti air, you don't get it. Yeah, I'm out of there. I'm not taking that. Sorry, combo. I gotta do a light kick. Oh my god. Whole time. I gotta do a light kick first. Light kick, light kick. And a light kick. Half of playing Jamie. I gotta pick someone.
This guy's actually mashing. Try and beat you with charm? Yes. All right, for day number two, video number two, we got to pretty much exactly 22,000 points. We got 
20, 2001. So we're pretty much halfway to our goal of master rank. I think the way that I've been using the drinks for Jamie has been working out pretty well that I described uh, at the start of the video. So I can definitely see how, you know, prioritizing the first and second drinks and then going for Oki afterwards makes a lot of sense for Jamie. Let me know in the comments if you've been doing something different for Jamie. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help the channel out a lot and I'll see you in the next one.